Okay, guys, welcome back. This is uh, part two of uh, exporting uh, your website from Photoshop and importing it into Dreamweaver. Um, it will, of course, like I said in the first one about Photoshop, it will help if you if you have had Dreamweaver or something along the lines of Dreamweaver. If you've got Expression Web, um, I'm not quite sure what this if this tutorial will be any any help to you, but go ahead and watch it anyway and I hope that it, it, it gives you some kind of idea of what to do. Um, okay, so first we, of course you want to open up Dreamweaver and then I'm going to create a new site um, just for this. I'm going to call it Demo. Uh, we'll get to Basics. Uh, basics, called Demo. Don't want to link it up to anything. Okay, let's just create the new one then. Create your root folder. What? No, I don't want it to be. Thank you. Okay. Um, okay, set up your site for Dreamweaver, blah, 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 blah. And now what you want to do, you see in your files, obviously you've got your root directory folder here. Um... I've opened up, I've kept open the um, the folder on my computer which has got the the HTML and the images folder in and what you want to do is select both of them okay make sure you've got Dreamweaver in the background and you just want to drag and drop it right underneath that name boom and it will automatically link up and then you want to double click on the HTML one, don't worry too much about the images. Double click, make sure you're in design view at the top here, not in split or code design, and there's your website. And now, the cool thing is because remember, we spoke about slices in the first one, and that was what it was about. Um, when you click on one of these, you see how they are actually individual buttons. And the reason I prefer doing this is because I can design the button any way I want, with any effect, with any design, any text, anything. I, compl I have complete freedom. Um, so what we shall do now is this section here, the main content. Right, remember I said in the first bit about how depending on what page I'm on will depend on what kind of information I want in that section. If I'm in the portfolio section, then I'm going to want images. You know, If I'm in the tutorial section, then I'm going to want videos. In the about section, etc, etc. So, the way we do this to make it commercial, to make it usable, dependent on um, what, what page we're on, is you actually want to click on that page, on the page, sorry, click on that, uh, that the box, brain freeze for a second, click on it and then you want to find your inserts palette. Now I've got CS4 here, so mine is located over here in designer mode. Um, you want to click on it and then hit delete, just hit delete there. And it, then what it, you should appear is a dotted outline and the cursor should be blinking on the left hand side in the center of that box. Okay, and don't worry, everything will be fine in a minute once we've sorted it all out. And then, like I said, you want to be in your inserts palette. You want to go to insert div tag. So we click on that. Make sure that we have this selected at insertion point. ID is just a name you give it. So I'm going to call this main01. New CSS rule, yes, we want a new CSS rule because CSS means that I can decorate, I can change the way that that box looks. Um, so yeah, we want that. I'm going to leave the selector name as it is. I'm going to leave the selector type as it is. The only thing I'm going to change on this one is the rule definition. So I'm going to come down here and click New Style Sheet File. Click OK. Save it. Main 01. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and call this CSS. And I'm going to save it inside the CSS file. Now it will come up with your CSS rules definition palette. 
Um, so you can change the font of whatever is put in there, the background color. Um, I'm going to change this to a light gray to match everything else. There we go. Um, and then what you want to do, probably the most important thing in here, especially with big boxes that have, for the time being, not got anything in, is you want to go to box, and then you want to come across here to where it says width and height. And you want to put in the exact width and height of that box. Now, the easiest way for you to get these dimensions is by going straight into Photoshop and then double click on the letter, but on the um, on the icon that you clicked on to put a new name in. Double click on it to bring up the slice options again. And you'll see it down here. You see where it says width. 993 height 413 so I'm gonna put those in width 993 height what was it 413 413 I'm gonna hit OK and I'll hit OK again and there it is see now it's back to what it looked like originally except it, it's uh, it's not <laughs> because now I have complete freedom to do what I want with it. I can delete that. There we go. And now, if you've done it correctly, you'll end up with this giant blinking cursor on the, uh, blinking as in literally blinking cursor on the left-hand side. Um, make sure you save it. Save everything. Click on your main CSS tab. Save that. Control S. Takes a second to press. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you want to um, check this out, if you want to make sure that everything's aligned, don't be freaked out if the design view in Dreamweaver is showing you things that look different. Um, depending on your computer's resolution and stuff, and design view is just a pain in the, you know. Um, but anyway, hit F12 after you've saved everything. If you don't save before you hit F12, it will prompt you to. Um, and that's it there. You can see that it looks exactly the same as before I inserted a div tag. Now the whole point of a div tag is this. You can see now that I have to create um, all these different pages, don't I? So what I'm going to do, for, first of all, I want to create the home page. Now I want to control, I want to save as this one um, because I want to use this as a template. Um, but we're not going to get into templates. <laughs> um, Control Shift S brings up the Save As document, and I want to save this as index. Your home page has to always be indexed. Do not forget that. Um, make sure it's um, uh, HTML, and hit Save. Now you want to do this again. Ch Control Shift S, and now I'm going to call this one Portfolio, and I'm going to do this for every single page that I want graphics and I'll get back to you in a minute okay so what I've done is I've um, created um, this side of the navigation bar um, the pages it's not going to make any difference if I create all of them um, this is obviously demonstrational purposes once you've got your pages, it will, they'll come up in here. So I've got index, graphics, portfolio, tutorials. Now, this one that's titled Light Shades Website, which is the title of the website when I exported it through Photoshop, we do not need that in this folder anymore. So I'm going to close it up here, and I'm going to delete it from my root directory. Delete. Yes. Okay, so now what I can do, because I have these um, different pages, I can link them all together now. Okay, so what I want to do is make sure that I'm on index up here. And I'm going to click on the button called Home. Okay, and now down here, you'll see where it says SRC, Images Home. That's the source of the image. Don't touch that. We don't need to touch that. What we want to do is add a link to it. Now, the cool thing about Dreamweaver is that it has this anchor tool. And you click this here, the little um, sort of sight or aiming target sort of looking thing. Click it and drag, and you'll see this arrow appears. 
You see that? Now, I want to drag it. I don't want to drag it there. I want to drag it to my HTML document called index. And that's done. It's linked. Done. Now, portfolio, same thing. I want to click and put that over to portfolio. Graphics, same one. Like that. And tutorial, same one. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute. You're only doing one for each one. This is only on the index. I'm going to have to do them for all of them. No, you're not. Trust me. You're not. Because now what you're going to do is you're going to control S again. And you're going to click on all of them except for the index one. Actually, hang on. We need to save the index one. Control S. Takes a second to press. Control Shift S. Click on one of your pages and hit save. It will ask you if you want to replace it. Yes, I do. Control S. Portfolio. Save. Yes, and the last one. Tutorials. Control S. Control Shift S, sorry. Tutorials. Save. Now, I like to just come into the file section here. Right click and refresh local files. Um, and now what you'll notice, if you that's all saved, click F12. And you'll see that they are linked. So if I click on Home, it will go to the Index, Portfolio, Graphics, Tutorials, and that's it, done. And of course you can't tell the difference because I haven't put any content in yet. But um, that section there, that's how to link up your navigation bar. Um, so yeah, in the next section... Um, I shall show you what we can do with the main content. So stay tuned, guys. Part three, final part, is coming up soon.